Thank you for the amazing response on the Python videos. I guess it is one of the most viewed Python series on YouTube. But we have this frequently asked question, what next? Now, once you have seen all the videos, once you have learned Python, what to work now or what to learn next? Now, Python is very famous, right? It can be used in multiple fields. Uh, example, Python can be used for web development. Python can be used for AI. Uh, Python can be used for scripting, for software development. It can be used at multiple places. The first thing you have to do after learning Python is build a small project. As I mentioned in the videos itself, uh, so while learning Python, you have to practice all the codes, right? See, programming is not something you can learn just by watching videos. Uh, so if you have seen all the videos, we have approximately 74 videos. It will get over maybe in one or two days. But that doesn't mean you know Python now. So what you have seen is only syntax. You know stuff in Python, but you don't know how to implement them. Programming is more about implementation. So make sure you practice all those codes. Now, once you have done with the practice, the same code which I have done, you have to do some experiment. Change, change the logic, change some, do some experiment with the code, or maybe you can, so whatever code which I have done, you can just customize it in your own way. You can do that. And after doing that, you can build a small project, maybe a calculator, maybe a system where a user will enter a number and you can guess the second number, something like that. You can just build some small games or something in Python. But if you really want to use Python real world, we have to decide which field you want to choose. Example, let's say you want to be a web developer. Yes, we have an option of HTML, CSS, JavaScript using which you can design pages. But what if you want to do backend programming? That's where we can use Python. Uh, so we have this very famous framework for Python, which is Django. We have another option, which is Flask. So you can do that. Uh, so once you know the basics of Python after watching the videos, you can learn Django, you can learn Flask. We have some amazing content available on YouTube, on different platforms. Just go to Google and search for uh, Django tutorials and you, can, you will find amazing content there. And you can just learn them and you can implement your own web application. Okay, that will be awesome. Don't just build the application, deploy it. It doesn't matter if you are mimicking Facebook or you have a very small concept with you. What's important is after building the project, deploy that project on cloud. It can be any cloud platform which you love, just do that. The next option you have is let's say if you are interested in AI. Now in AI, let's say if you want to implement something in machine learning, Python has libraries for it. Uh, I am sure you might have heard about a concept or a library known as TensorFlow. So using TensorFlow, we can implement or we can use that library to implement machine learning. And that's where we can use Python. Okay, so just build on Python. Uh, the other option you have is, let's say if you want to go for data visualization, data extraction. So we have these amazing tools there as well. We have Pandas, uh, we have library like Matplotlib, uh, using which you can uh, plot the amazing uh, graphs. Uh, we also have option of Seaborn for data visualization. Uh, you can use that. So we can use Python for web development. We can use Python for machine learning like TensorFlow uh, for data visualization using Pandas or Matplotlib. We can also use Python for scripting. Now, you know, in daily life, or maybe if you're working for a company, you have this repetitive task which you do, right? You copy files from one place to other files. You rename all the files. Let's say you want to rename all the files and you want to have the numbers with all the files. You can do that with the help of Python. Because manually, if you do that, it will take, let's say, half an hour. Using Python, if you write a script, it will be done in seconds, provided you know the script. And try to implement a project. So it doesn't matter, is it a web project or machine learning project? You see, when you say machine learning, just by learning Python, you cannot be expert in machine learning. It's a very different concept. So if you have spent your two months in learning Python, you have to spend your one year or one and a half year learning machine learning, right? But then if you want to get into machine learning, there are some prerequisites, right? So one is Python. Uh, you can just work on some Pandas framework, uh, start using TensorFlow for small work. And then you can just go step by step towards machine learning. If you want to get into, let's say, scripting, it's damn easy. Just implement Python, find out some tasks for you and just implement them. So there are so many options. We have one more option of using software development or you can say GUI development using Python. It's not that famous, but we can do that. Uh, we can also use Python for mobile development or for embedded programming. See, for Android, we can use Python, but it's not recommended because Android is built on Java. Uh, we have hybrid apps, but then Python don't have a good support for it as of now. 
So yes, you can do Android programming or you can build Android apps using Python, but not recommended. The other option you have is you can go for the embedded programming using Python. Again, not that recommended, but then you can still use it. So Python is something you can use it everywhere, just like JavaScript. Uh, but then use it only for places where it is famous, like for web development, for machine learning. That's what you can do. So now you know what is Python and now you know what to learn next. The thing is we don't have all these videos on this channel like Django or for GUI and for uh, machine learning. But you can find those videos or content online. I will try to post videos on Django because that's what I'm planning from a long time. Uh, but let's see how that goes. So that's it that's from this video everyone. I hope you got the answer about what next. Bye bye. <laughs>